The USDA NRCS offers in most states a high tunnel system practice that provides technical and financial assistance. The financial assistance varies from state to state. It covers a portion of the producer's cost in installing a high tunnel system. It needs to be sited on existing cropland that needs to solve a resource concern. The resource concern is plant productivity, health, and vigor, which also can be associated with improved nutrient management, pest management, and irrigation water management because you're controlling all of those factors. High tunnel system differs from a greenhouse in that a high tunnel system, uh, you're growing crops in the natural ground or on raised beds, but in the natural soil profile. For this first season, as we kind of get acclimated and learn really how to grow effectively in a high tunnel system, we're gonna trial some crops, uh, cucumbers, peppers, and growing ginger undercover, just to see how all of those crops kind of do in this condition. We have been growing on the east side for 20 years, scaling up our urban farming practices for many years, so it's super exciting to be able to really take it to the next level and create more of an urban farm and be able to extend um, the season for when we can grow food and offer food through our programming and through our farm. Depending on the size of the structure, you're going to have to haul it on a trailer, a flatbed, or a semi might have to deliver it. Anywhere from one to three or four pallets. You need to be prepared with a forklift. Otherwise, you can break the uh, uh, crates down at the truck and haul them down individually. You want to try to site that structure where it's already fairly level, depending on the county or the township uh, permitting requirements. There could be a building permit needed, setbacks from a road, setbacks from property lines. You should also be calling uh, the utility notices to make sure that any underground uh, lines for gas or electric are marked ahead of time. To be able to do most of the work that we do at Urban Roots and our urban farming program is we work with our youth internship program and volunteers and school groups to really be able to pull up all the projects that we do. We've already had around 100 people come through early this season to help prep the grounds for the high tunnel, lay the cement footings, uh, add compost, and then do some of the construction framing.